In Genshin Impact, to get a character that we met in the story, we will first need to roll for the character using Primo Gems that we obtained from our journey, or purchased with our real life cash on the gacha banners. As Genshin Impact is a gacha game after all, it is not always where we can get all of the characters in game unless you are a whale or a very lucky free to play player. Primo Gems literally do not grow in trees after all. See, only wood comes out. As such, resource management, in this case for Primo Gems, is very important. Because of that, we often contemplating if we should pull for a character or not. If we pull for the character now, do we have enough Primo Gems for the next character? And if I don't pull for this character, will I lose out? After all, we all always know what the characters are in the current banner, what the characters are in the next banner, and if it's a new character, who is in the next patches banner. I decided to create this video in hopes to allow you to make a more informed and better decision on when you should and shouldn't pull for a character, thereby helping you to save as much Primo Gems as possible for the ideal character that you want. Before we begin, can I just say a huge thank you to everyone for helping us to reach 600 subscribers. I'm really so happy with all the support that we are getting from everyone and we are now so close to the goal of 1000 subscribers. If you have yet to subscribe though, do consider subscribing and join our family here as we regularly post Genshin Impact videos and I hope that you'll be here to enjoy them as they release. Thank you in advance. Without further ado, my name is ChargeCoin and let's begin the video. So the first topic that we would like to talk about is if you want the 5 star character. I mean honestly, if you want the character, be it for their kit, design, meta, of course definitely you will need to pull for him or her. You wouldn't be able to get the character unless you pull after all. But the real dilemma comes when you're on the fence. You're unsure whether or not you want the 5 star character. And as such, it is important that you make sure to check out some character guides or videos online before making your own decision. This is to prevent any possible regrets that you may face after getting the character. But of course, hindsight is 2020, and it is usually impossible to prevent regret, especially since the meta will change over time. In the past, you will be extremely happy to get the look as he's one of the best DPS in the game at the start. However, right now, he has been power crept by so many characters that if you get him, you just don't want him anymore. So another tip that I can give you is that if you are willing to wait, you can wait for the character's rerun. This is because usually by their rerun, the character's place in the meta will be more solidified and there will be better opinions on their strength, thereby allowing you to make an even more informed decision overall on whether you want to pull for the character or not. For the second scenario, we have one whereby perhaps you want the current banner's character, but want another character in the future banner even more. For example, let's say if I want Klee on the current banner, my one Linny on the next patches banner even more. Of course, the simplest solution here would be just not to pull for Klee, so that you have more gems for Linny later on. But life usually isn't so simple. Sometimes it's just so tempting and you may feel that you lost an opportunity to get a good character this time if you let go of the chance. As such, you can always do two things. One, first calculate the number of primo gems that you have. Assuming that your luck is horrible and you lost your 50-50, and can only get the limited 5 star at the next 90 pulls. This means that you'll need a total of 180 pulls or 28,800 Primo Gems. So if you pull for clean now, would you have enough later on to get Lini? If not, then maybe you need to pass up for clean this time and save for Lini instead. The second tip is that you can set some limits for yourself. For example, if I set this particular limit for myself, let's say if I do not get clean in 30 pulls, I will stop pulling. Why this is good is because 30 pulls is reasonable, considering if you get clean 30 pulls, that's great. You're lucky and you didn't lose that many gems in the process. But if you didn't get clean, at least with limits set for yourself, you'll know when to give up, and you have at least 30 pity saved and hopefully enough primo gems for the next character. For the next scenario, perhaps you might want the constellations of the limited character. Obviously, if you want constellations, you definitely would want to pull more on that particular banner. Since there's not much to say here, perhaps I can share a bit about which characters' early constellations I think are pretty good so that you can save some primo gems for them. Some examples are Hu Tao C1, which allows her to use the charge attacks after she uses her elemental skill without any cost to stamina. Another good character is Raiden C2, 
which makes her burst deal insane damage due to her burst ignoring 60% of the enemy's defense. Nahida C2 is good as well, which allows her to reduce the defense of enemies affected by Quicken, Aggravate and Spread by 30% while allowing Bloom related reactions to crit as well. For number 4, we have Kazuha C2 which allows an even higher elemental mastery for himself and his team. For my final recommendation, we have Ayaka C2 whose C2 allows her to get extra damage for her elemental burst. Please note that while all these constellations seem very tempting, please only go for a character's constellations if you really have the gems. Also note that you do not have to get all of the character's constellations you want in one banner. You can always get another constellation during their rerun in another banner in the future. Don't be like me. I end up spending about 500 USD for Nahida C2 and her weapon. I mean, I'm happy that I got Nahida C2 and her weapon, but you know, is it really worth $500? For the third scenario, is whereby you want the 4 star character. My advice in this case is that you should only pull in the banner if you're okay with getting the 5 star. Too many times have I seen people ranting on Facebook or Twitter on how the 5 star character came when they only wanted the 4 star. I really hope that you don't become that person. After all, 4 star characters will always go to the standard banner and pool of characters meaning you can always get them eventually even if they are not featured on the limited banner. As such, do you really want to waste your primo gems on characters that you can get eventually? I mean ultimately, it is your own decision, but I really hope that you will think carefully before you decide to commit to anything. For the last scenario, is whereby you want to build pity. I think it is pretty obvious, but building pity is a big no-no. For those who do not know, building pity means that you try to pull for a limited character that you do not want, in hopes of getting closer to the soft pity of 75 for a character that you want in a future banner. Why this is a big no-no is because firstly, although the chance to get a 5 star is only 0.6% before 75 pulls, there is still a chance for you to get a 5 star in the banner early. Moreover, building pity just doesn't make sense considering that you can build pity on the character banner that you want to. What's more, if you pull only on the character banner that you want, there is also a chance that you can get the limited 5 star early, thereby saving you a lot more primo gems in that case. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. I really really hope that the tips that I've given in today's video will help you to save a lot more primo gems and help you to decide better on what characters you should pull and what characters you should not pull. After all, I'm sure that everyone here would want to have enough gems for the characters that they really really want. If you found that today's video helped you out, or you just enjoyed it in general, do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe as it will really help out the channel and get me closer to my goal of 1000 subscribers. I make regular Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail videos, and I hope that you will be here to watch them as they release. Thank you in advance and bye bye!